सर जब बोलेंगे ना जो कर गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून सर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द हाइड्रोकार्बन्स इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन इंट्रोडक्शन आइसोमेरिज्म एंड द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज सो टुडेज लेक्चर इज बेस्ड ऑन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द हाइड्रोकार्बन्स नाउ लेट अस सी लेट अस सी व्हाट आर हाइड्रोकार्बन्स हाइड्रोकार्बन्स आर दोस कंपाउंड्स which are containing only carbon and hydrogen as a main elements means carbon and hydrogen are there there are various types of the hydrocarbons so when we see there are mainly two types of hydrocarbons one is saturated hydrocarbons which are mainly containing single bond they are aliphatic and sp3 hybridized now my question goes to methylation come here show me Show me the single bonded saturated hydrocarbon from this model. From this one, ethane. Ah. Now explain this ethane. That there are two carbons. We have, and each carbon contain uh, have single bond and means uh, complete is valency. And uh, well, each carbon have one bond with carbon and three bond with hydrogen. Very good. Very good. Now sit down. Now anyone uh, that is uh, Mohan. Come here and tell about the next compound, which is uh, sp3 hydrides. Starting from only one carbon. Sir, so, that is methane. Ah. Now explain the methane. Methane is contain uh, only single carbon and uh, all the helices of carbon uh, that is four are uh, uh, filled with uh, the hydrogen. What is the bond angle in methane? Like one zero nine point five. Whether it is tetrahedral or trigonal structure, sir, tetrahedral. Very good, very good. Now sit down. Now we are going to the next type of the hydrocarbon, that is unsaturated hydrocarbon. In unsaturated hydrocarbon, at least one double bond is there. At least one double bond or triple bond. When double bond is there, that is alkene, and triple bond is there, that is alkyne. It is also aliphatic hydrocarbon. When double bond is there, that is sp2 hybridized. When triple bond is there, that is there is a sp hybridized structure. Now I call Raju sir. Come here to show the double bonded toy here. Uh, now explain this one. So this is double bonded, uh, double bonded ethane molecule uh, in which uh, a double bond exists here. And because uh, since it can go undergo addition reaction, so we call it as unsaturated. And uh, It is sp2 hybridized, and the bond angle uh, is 120. Very good. The uh, bond angle is 120. How many hydrogen atoms are there in this sulfur? Sir, as you have said, uh, that uh, the formula of uh, unsaturated uh, ethene molecule is C C2 H2 and uh, C2 CN H2 or C CN H2 and B C2 H4. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, Here is two carbon atom, and so four hydrogen are there. Very good, very good. Now we will go towards the triple bonded compound. When we talk about the triple bonded compound, that is acetylene in the carbon name, or ethane is a IPC name. Now I call uh, Deshmukh come here. Deshmukh come here. So the triple bonded toy here, please. Now explain now. Is it uh, it's a formula C. H2 we get the triple bond between two carbon atoms and its common name is acetylene and also acetylene acetylene is ethyl yes what is the bond angle in the ethyl it is a linear means 180 degree yes very good it's a linear molecule or diagonal molecule with the uh, 180 degree bond angle very good now the structure which is Other than the single double triple bond, alkene, alkene, and alkyne, one more aromatic structure we have. We have one more aromatic structure, and this aromatic structure has been made from the, uh, the that is uh, very good students of the eleven A class, and uh, I call upon uh, here uh, Mr. Master Mohan and Rajul Kumar to come here, along with uh, Mithilesh Shastri. Three students will come here, and three students will explain the first aromatic hydrocarbon that is benzene. Now come over here. 
Now we explain this first aromatic compound that is benzene. It is a, a first a, unsaturated uh, benzoate compound that is C6S6. Still, it is a unsaturated. It contains three double bonds, but it is saturated. Uh, it is a uh, stable due to its resonance. Its structure is given by Kekuli, and uh, we call it Kekuli structure. In which resonance, uh, in which the electron can move, and because of that, uh, it is stable. Uh, sometimes we uh, always think that how it is stable. It is a ring, and uh, double bonds are there. But we, uh, but there is a we know that resonance can mesomeric effect. Resonance can stabilize any molecule. So there is a stability due to resonance effect. Uh, here we see. Sp2 uh, hybridized carbons are there, double bonded, and uh, orbital uh, perpendicular to the, this molecule, the electron can revolve. And uh, since Huckel rule it satisfied 4n plus 2, it gives a perfect stability, aromatic structure, and that is why it is so stable. Uh, still, uh, okay, thank you. Very good, very good. There, there was, uh, means that this is the uh, aromatic compound in which. Uh, was yeah, and this, this was stable than the saturated and unsaturated both because of their uh, their moving of free, free electrons and the high resonance means there was not a perfectly this or this is double bond the double bond are moving means they, uh, the, this double bond was there also and there also and there also in we, in, the, in this uh, the, there are single bonds but there are these are these are shown by resonance by hybrid 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 structure Mohan, any more information can you add here? Uh, sir, uh, as we know that benzene is very really useful for our uh, life, day to day life. And uh, uh, from benzene, we can obtain very uh, large number of uh, compounds uh, like uh, toluol, toluol, etc. Phenol, phenol, etc. And this one is very really stable uh, compound of carbon and nitrogen. Very good, very good, please. So in this way, with the help of these toy models, we can have the different models and also our dear students also explain very good. So we will, uh, move, towards, we will move towards the next thing. Now you see, when we see the structures, actually what happened, the structures have been made by, by the students, this model also. Now these structures you can see here. This is the pentane, single bonded compound, having the molecular formula C5H12. We can show this pentane in the isomeric form also. Yes. In the isomeric form. Okay. Isopentane, neopentane, these are the two isomers from the, made from the normal pentane. Now, move towards the unsaturated hydrocarbon. These are the alkenes having double bonded structures. Now you see, what is the name of this compound? How many number of carbon atoms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, so this is 1, 20. And next, this, this is the this is the triple bonded compound. How many number of carbon atoms here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So here 6. Only up to this. Yes. Only up to this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One this pentane. Is pentane. One pentane. Yes, this is pentane, yes. normal pentane, that is single bonded compound. This is one, one pentane, pentane. Yes. double bonded compound, and this is one pentane. It is a triple bonded compound. Of which this is a saturated hydrocarbon example, this is a double bonded unsaturated hydrocarbon example, this is a triple bonded unsaturated example. Now below this, just now explained by the Radulkar, Mohan and Vitilage, this is the aromatic hydrocarbons, benzene. Okay, this is the structure of the benzene. Okay, this is a circular ring in which electrons are distributed throughout the ring. Okay, this is again the structure and the structure which is formed or the compound which is formed from the benzene that is propolon. What is the difference between benzene and propolon? Sir, in benzene contains 6 carbon, 6 carbon, 6 hydrogen. Propolon contains 
six carbon five hydrogen and one yes 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 one hydrogen attached to the uh, carbon so how many number of double bonds are there here there are four double bonds in propanol there are four double bonds in benzene there are three double bonds and three single bonds here there are how many single bonds one two three four four single bonds and four double bonds this is the propanol four single four double and how many number of carbon six how many number of hydrogen Five. five and how many number of oxygen one one c six h five o it is the molecular structure of the propanol so when we move forward now you see saturated hydrocarbons now what are the properties of the saturated hydrocarbon it is contain one sigma uh, with carbon carbon another sigma bond with the carbon hydrogen means when we speak towards the saturated hydrocarbons all the bonds are sigma bonds with carbon carbon as well as with carbon hydrogen okay so all the arrangement is only of single single bond it is sp3 hydrogen carbon it means it is having the bond angle 109.5 degree okay what is the next property straight chain straight chain is the main structure of the normal pentane but from the normal pentane we can make the branch structure also so that is isopentane as well as neopentane in the isopentane one of the c3 goes goes towards the central carbon atom whereas in the neopentane that is uh, just behind the uh, c3 again next c3 coming that is neopentane in the neopentane all the four valences of the carbon has been satisfied by the ch3 that is methyl group that is methyl group okay in this way new pentane is obtained so this is no ring with a acyclic structure with a acyclic structure okay now you see these are the structures made by the students these are the structure this is methane yes. this is ethane this is propane in this way when we are going from methane ethane propane butane pentane hexane heptane octane nonane and dehane these are the all 10 series of the saturated hydrocarbon or alkane with the general formula cn h2n plus 2 C N H two N plus two. It is the general formula of alkene. C N H two N is the general formula of alkene, double bonded compound. And C N H two N minus two is the alkyne, alkyne molecular formula. Okay, general formula. Now you see here there are four different types of the carbon types of the alkene. Four different carbon types. Now you can see here primary carbon, secondary carbon are two degree, tertiary and then quaternary. Okay. Now this is the structure. This is the structure. How many number of carbon atoms in a straight chain? One, two, three, four, five. There are five carbon atoms in a chain. In this five carbon atoms in a chain, now one branch chain is there. CH3 at the second carbon atom. Now at the third, fourth carbon atom, again one more branch is of CH3, and below that again one branch is there. Now, in which manner you can give the names, or uh, what is the rules to be followed for giving the IUPAC name to these compounds of five carbon atoms? Can anybody explain? Yes, sir. Uh, we will start from the left. Yes, yes. Come here. Come over here. Ah. Uh, Yes. Ah. Uh, as you said, we will uh, uh, start from left side as it contains methyl group, and the second carbon contains maximum. Here also contains at second position, but it contains only one. Whereas it contains two. And yes. because of that, we will start from one, two, three, four, and five. Yes. And so we will uh, write the name as one comma one. One comma one comma two comma. Now two comma. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sir. Two comma two comma two. Uh, Nine, 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 n
Now you see. One, two, three, four, five. At the second carbon atom, two methyl groups are there. At the fourth carbon atom, there are only one methyl group. When we give the IUPAC name, we have to see the parent alkane. There are five carbon atoms in a chain, so parent alkane is pentane. At the second carbon atom, two methyl groups are there. Therefore, it is called dimethyl. At the second carbon, so there at the second carbon, two methyl groups are there. So the name is two two dimethyl four methyl pentane. This is the name. Or you can give the two two. 2, 2, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, now, which carbon is called as one degree? Sir, the uh, carbon which is attached to only a single carbon atom. Yes, very good, very good. The carbon which is attached to a single carbon atom is called as uh, one degree uh, carbon. Uh, Anybody, two degree carbon? Yes, Mohan. The carbon which is attached directly by with two degree, uh, two carbon Two atom. carbon atom. The carbon which is attached to two carbon atom that is called as two degree. Two now, you, now, you show me here one degree carbon atom. Uh, one, one degree carbon atom you show and as well as two degree you can show. Sir, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah, these are one degree carbon uh -huh. and the center uh, C, uh, CS2 is two degree. Two degree. Because degree. of heat, it, it attached uh, directly with one two. carbon and the second carbon. carbon. Yes. yes. Anybody, you, they can show the three degree carbon, please sit down. Anybody, yes, Mithilesh, can you show three degree and four degree carbon atoms? Yes. The 3 degree carbon atoms means the carbon atoms which are directly attached to 3 carbons yeah. and the 4 degree carbon atoms which are the carbons that are directly attached to 4 carbons. Yes, yes. show me here. This is 3 degree carbon atom and this is 4 degree carbon atom. Now explain why it is called a 3 degree carbon atom. Because the, uh, these, contain, uh, these are connected to 2 methyl group and 1 chain. Oh, very good. And 4 degree, this is, this is 4 degree carbon atom which is, which is connected to 3 methyl group and uh, 1 in chain. chain carbon. Ah. Now you tell me. Uh, from the when with this particular idea we connect to the isomerism of the pentane. Whether in the isomerism in the new pentane isomerism, uh, how many number of four degree carbon atoms? One four degree carbon atom. Ah. How many? One four degree carbon atom and four one degree carbon atom. <laughs>